Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Borg Warner. Feel good about driving. Bridgestone, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. And by the 2013 Hyundai Sonata. Learn more at HyundaiSonata.com. Hello and welcome to AutoLine Daily. Later on in the show, we'll share the results of our latest poll about whether diesels or hybrids will sell better. But before we get to that, let's get to the news. The Detroit Free Press reports that several hundred of Nissan's factory workers in Smyrna, Tennessee, met with the United Auto Workers this week at a local hall. The union very much wants to organize that plant. In fact, it wants to organize all of the foreign-owned transplants but it has been spectacularly unsuccessful, even after trying for 30 years. So the fact that it attracted several hundred Nissan employees to attend a meeting could be a significant development. Check out the link in today's show notes. There is an interesting video posted by the newspaper, The Tennessean, with comments from some of the disgruntled workers who want the union to organize the plant. And this is a story we will definitely have to keep an eye on. General Motors believes that demand for its extended range electric vehicles is going to grow this year. It's going to build 36,000 Chevy Volts, Opel Amperas, and Cadillac ELRs for sale globally, which is 20% more than in 2012. Last year, GM sold about 30,000 Volts and Amperas. You know, even with that boost, that's not a lot of cars. But the good news is, sales are going up. Speaking of electric cars, we've got a great package coming up in the second half of the show about a heavily modified Nissan LEAF, unlike any LEAF that you've ever seen. Ford released the pricing for the new Fiesta ST, and it starts at just over $22,000. Powered by a 1.6 liter EcoBoost inline four cylinder that's matched to a six-speed manual, It cranks out 197 horses, along with 214 pound-feet of torque. A few weeks back on AutoLine After Hours, we had John Davis, the chief program engineer for the Fiesta Focus and C-Max, and he said he actually prefers the Fiesta ST over the Focus ST because the Fiesta is lighter, nimbler, and eminently more tossable. After 75 years in the automotive business, Toyota is marking this milestone with a fully interactive timeline. It has information on every Toyota ever made and perhaps more info than you ever needed or wanted to know. Your journey starts out by choosing either make, body type, or year, and from there the searching is left up to you. The timeline may seem a little daunting at first, but give it a try and I'm sure you'll be impressed. Oh, and by the way, Happy anniversary, Toyota. Gasoline prices have shot up in the American market recently, and they're also going up in China. So what do Chinese consumers have to pay to fuel up their cars? Right now, a gallon of 93 octane gasoline is going for five bucks. 97 octane is $5.41 a gallon. 98 octane is $5.71. Not many Chinese consumers buy vehicles with diesel engines. Those go mainly into commercial vehicles. But maybe some automaker might want to start pushing diesels in China. A gallon of diesel fuel over there costs the same as regular, five bucks a gallon. Considering the fact that diesels typically get 30% better fuel economy, car buyers would be coming out way ahead. Speaking of diesel engines, we've got the results of our latest poll, and there was a definite clear-cut winner. We asked, by 2020, which powertrain do you expect to sell better in the U.S., diesels or hybrids? And you, our viewers, chose diesels as the more likely powertrain to succeed. In fact, 70% of you picked diesels compared to 30% for hybrids. This is a fascinating result, but I guess we're just going to have to wait a few years to see what actually happens. Coming up next, a look at one supplier company's vision of what cars could be like by the end of the decade. 
Dow Automotive Systems, driving solutions in automotive, commercial transportation, and aftermarket with innovative products like Betamate structural adhesives. Lighter, stronger, safer. DowBetamate.com. Automotive supplier Visteon recently took the wraps off a concept vehicle called the EB. It represents the company's vision of what cars and the technology they're equipped with will be like in the year 2020. The EB is based on the Nissan LEAF, but the exterior styling is about the only thing that's similar. Inside, it's a completely different car. So one of the key innovations on this vehicle is the climate system and its ability to actually take it out of its conventional location, which has always been the cockpit area beneath the skin of the instrument panel, and actually place that with other components in a system in another area of the vehicle. In this vehicle, we actually have it placed in front of the electric motor in the, in the front of the vehicle, but what that enables is key for our future as an industry to really rethink the way we've designed vehicles for the last 50 years by moving that system out, looking at opportunities to reduce some of the metal structure in the instrument panel, look at advanced materials, which leads to light weighting and reduction in the overall plastics, which then allows us to really focus on that electronic experience that you want to have in the car. And how do we, how do we attract people to that and to our ultimate uh, customers? In addition to moving the HVAC system, the airbags were relocated to the headliner. Not only does this create extra space, it also opens up more options for designers. Personalization is another key feature of the EB. The screens in the vehicle are reconfigurable are able to display cloud-based content or content from smartphones or tablets. Plus, multiple devices can be connected to the vehicle, giving each passenger their own unique space within the car. But another reason the EB is highly customizable is because it was created with car sharing and short-term rentals in mind. Another key area that we're keeping an eye on is looking at different uses of mobility such as things like Zipcar or Car2Go where the new consumer may not be buying a car. They may be focused on their electronic devices with only looking at car as a part-time usage or a truck as a part-time usage. So how do we design that experience when you get into the car so the car actually adapts to you versus you adapting to the car? So that could be through profiling, your address book, your music, other profiles either through the cloud or directly through your mobile device and having that flexibility for different users. We see that as a key feature going forward. Obviously you'll never be able to buy this vehicle and some of the technology is still being developed but there are a number of features that Visteon says are either application or production ready right now. Say we've got a great show on AutoLine After Hours tonight our guest is Pietro Gorlier, the head of Mopar, who's bringing the new Mopar 13 along with him. So tune in tonight for some of the best insider information in the business, or catch the podcast later at your own convenience. You can get that right here at the AutoLine site, or at the iTunes store, or on our YouTube channel. But that wraps up today's show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.